Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my finished 20 products in 2020. I thought I was going to do better for this update. Um, I'm not. Even though I have three empties, I don't feel like I made very nice progress on the rest of the items. Two of the items that I finished are two gimme items that I rolled in last month, so I wasn't, I wasn't really surprised when I finished these two weeks after my update. Let me show you the three empties, my progress and the new roll-ins for this update. Three new items is exciting to work on, so let me show you guys the products. <laughs> okay, let me show you the most exciting one that I have for this uh, update. That is my Franken bronzer. I'm so excited that I have finished this because that means I have finished like half of the OG Franken bronzer in this project and um, an eyeshadow. That is pretty exciting. It went so fast since the last update. I will insert on the screen where I was and I will do that for all of the products in this project. When I was done filming last update and edited and everything, I realized that I was missing a product to put in. So I just counted this as one item done. Or like one item, you know? Even though I said last time it was two, but... The next item I have finished is my W7 Stroke of Genius Brow Pencil. This one right here. And this is in the shade Dark Brown. This is a micro blade brow pencil, so I micro brow pencil. I have completely finished this. I can't get anything out of there. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited about it because that means I don't have any more of these brow pencils. I only have um, a brow pencil from e.l.f. but that is a little bit thicker, which I actually prefer. It goes so much faster. <laughs> this takes ages to use. Um, and then I have some powders and some waxes left, which is really exciting, I think. So yes, this is done. The next one is my Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. Why does it say multiple times? Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. What? This one, this concealer right here, it is in the shade C1. I have mixed it when I wore foundation with another concealer, so it would match me, and I really loved it. I have planned on uh, repurchase this shade and maybe a shade deeper, and I think I will buy this and not foundation in the future, because I really like only concealer, and I have done that on my face today as well. I'm not uh, a foundation girl anymore, <laughs> I have come to realize, and I really... It cuts down my makeup routine in the morning a little bit, so that is really nice. <laughs> Should we just go over the items that I haven't used this month? Shall we? I surprised my heat protection spray. I haven't used it at all. I am still... I'm still at that line. I haven't... I haven't been... My okay, I actually think it is only my heat protection spray that I haven't used this month. This one I have used once and I broke out and I'm, I'm, I'm breaking out again here. I have no idea why uh, because it has been a few weeks since I used this last time. Um, this is the Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal Mask. I don't know if you can see any progress. Do my pictures even help with this mask? I have no idea but this is where I am and I really really enjoy this mask. I actually really love it. I need to up my game on the masking part. Can you even, yeah, you can see some progress in my The Body Shop Coconut uh, Body Scrub. This is a deluxe size of 50 milliliters. Yeah, I did hit the bottom right there. I don't know if you can see that. How is it going to turn this side, I think? Um, but yes, you can definitely see the dip and everything. I forgot to mark this, but I have used this a little bit. I don't know if you can see the progress, but I am down to there above my fingernail. I will mark this. The bottom line there. I'm not very good at using this. I'm very lazy in the evening time. I just remove my makeup and then I apply some breakout serum thing and then I moisturize up. I have tried to use this this week. I have. 
but as you can see not very much the body shop British Rose there's a lot of body shop items in here I'm sorry <laughs> so I'm not sorry really but yeah I'm down to this line right here it is a shower gel from the body shop the British Rose scent I thought I could make more progress but apparently I can't um, I do use a lot every single time I'm in the shower so I don't know really why I haven't made more progress I do think I put something in a travel shower gel thing for the last update when I went on vacation and I have used that part in the last weekend uh, when I went into a summer house is it called that? I don't know what it's called in English I went on a trip with my friends okay I have used this and I, John has used it as well but I have no idea why I'm still at that line it just won't go down so at some point this will be done and we can all cheer because it has it is holding on then i have my eye, eye cleansing mousse and i have actually used this a lot but again i have been really lazy and only cleansed of my makeup and that is like a cleansing balm so i feel like my skin is cleansed with the oil so it's only sometimes i go in with this but that sometimes like half my can you say that half I used up half of what was left since the last update in this um, so I do think I can finish this by next update which will be very exciting because then I officially only have one cleanser in my collection exciting update on my Jelly Crush lip scrub I have actually used it this month shocker I know but oh and it's not but it's an and I hit bottom I hit the bottom of this I'm so excited. I didn't know how far I actually was down in the the jar. You see that very pink bit right there? That is the white label on the bottom here. So that is really exciting. So I actually see the light at the end of the tunnel that I can finish this this year. Okay, my perfume from One Direction, Our Moment. As you can see at my nail polish marks, I haven't used it uh, or made amazing progress this year. It's just really hard for me to make progress, you know. But I don't know if you can see inside the bottle, but the sprayer thing, it bends. So if I spray when it is like upside down, you know, I can't get anything out. So I have to tilt it to the side where the plastic sprayer thing is inside the bottle and then I can spray so I guess I'm getting down there let me just and I don't remember it every single day but I have been really good at the last uh, few weeks it doesn't last on me at all but I do spritz like three or four times because it doesn't last okay the next two items are kind of uh, something in one I think um, yes I have the British Rose Body Yogurt from the Body Shop and this is a body lotion and it has changed color because I have added in the body sculpting cream from W7 the shimmer lotion this one I finally did it and I'm really excited to say that I have put all of this product into that lotion so it's very shimmery but Maybe I put too much in, but yes, I did put that in and I do enjoy it. I just need to use it up and make progress on it. And a goal is for sure to finish it up next time. Let's see if I can do it. Well, that are all my body items in the project and we are 15 minutes in. I'm so chatty. I'm very sorry. Hopefully I can edit it down. <laughs> Okay, I have six items left to talk about, really only five, because I haven't used my lip primer this month from Davy Simon at all. I have used my contour powder from NYX, it's actually a blush, but I have used it a few times, but I don't think you can see any progress at all. I don't know how to use up a, a contour, I, I don't use them, I just don't. Let me show you my Franken bronzer in this powder. Thing. this is where I am now so uh, maybe you can see some progress since last time because I have begun to use it in the last week or one a week and a half so maybe in the 
middle you can see it is really wearing down but Frankenbronzer is getting used now and only that one okay then we have my W7 Eye Dream Shadow Cream this very light base I have used it a ton and you can definitely see where I am it's very obvious that I'm down to here and it is really on the sides now so I'm very tempted to remove the stopper soon so I can really get it all out and maybe I will do that by next time I do feel like that I had I had uh, some progress for last time where I could mark it but I didn't mark it I have a uh, something in my head that says I I need to look back on the last update I didn't because I'm not that organized my eyeliner my P2 impressive deal Kajal eyeliner have you noticed that I didn't mention this in the beginning of the products that I haven't used I have begun using it I'm really excited I have it on today actually um, the blue color doesn't really show through so you can't really tell that it is blue because it's such a dark navy blue but i only use it when i'm in purple or something in these tones i am panning some like yellow and um, orange and green and stuff like that and when i wear green clothes i don't really use this because i just don't want to i want to wear a black eyeliner so i do um but yes i have i have used it i'm very excited let me show you the progress it's not amazing but it's there that is the new line I'm very excited about that line. It's actually really nice. If you think about, I have only used it for like a, a week, maybe two weeks in total this month. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. And if I just continue using it the way I do now, I actually think I have a chance of finishing this by the end of the year. Um, but let's see how I do because it is less than two months until my baby comes. It's really, it's really weird. To say that and there's under a month until i go on maternity leave from work insane <laughs> i'm going to be a mom so soon i can't wait so I, I can't wait the three products that i'm rolling in for the concealer i'm adding in the concealer that i use every single day right now it is the w7 saved by the gel concealer this one right here it is a little bit too dark for me but I can buff it out so it actually matches me and I do still have the slightest bit of tan left um, and when I put on blush and bronzer you can't really tell that I am using a, a smidge into dark concealer so that is really nice. I have it on right now um, but I did top up with a bronzer and powder and stuff like that before I filmed. But yes this is the concealer that I have used for the past uh, two three months and I can't find any windows in it. I have tried to uh, scoop the wand around but you can't see anything. And the applicator is really weird. It's like a uh, hourglass shaped. I don't know why but it is. Okay they are all W7 products. Yeah. I'm adding in a lip liner. It is the W7 Kiss and Gel Soft Gel Lip Liner and this is in the shade pink. This is a perfect everyday color and I am adding this in because it keeps breaking the product inside. I can use it so I really just want to use it up. I really want to get some use out of it before it dries out um, because I can't tell it's kind of dry. Then I'm adding in the cream highlighter, the highlighter that I had in my Partners in Cream project pan. I really need to finish this up this year and this is the only product that I can roll it into and I really need to use it up. So I have half of the product left, actually less than half, which was really exciting when I finished off the uh, Partners in Cream project pan that I ended just to not have so many projects going on so you will see more of this highlighter and i think i hope you're okay with that okay i think that was 20 products i think so let me count one second Did I forget an item? Why can I only count 19? Oh, here it is. 
the last one. <laughs> I, I dropped it. Okay, the last item that I have here is my Touch and Go um, Blemish Concealer Pencil. It's not. It's an inner corner highlighter or highlight pencil basically because it's shimmery. You don't put this on your blemishes. Don't. I use this every single time or every single day in my inner corner. Very, very uh, regularly actually. I have it underneath a highlighter today. It just gives the perfect pop of lightning. It lights up my inner corner very nicely. And it acts like a, like a base. That is my progress for this month. I'm very happy about it. This is my starting point for the lip liner. It goes all the way down to the paper, so it just fit it in. <laughs> Which was very important to roll it into the project anyway. Those are my 20 products. I hope you guys enjoyed. I try. I will try to minimize the length of this video. 25 minutes. Oh my god, I'm so chatty. I'm so sorry. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe down below. If you're new here, I would love for you to be a part of my family here on YouTube. I'm just really grateful for you all and chatting with you in the comments. You are always so sweet. I love you guys so much and until my next video, please take care. Bye!